What's good, y'all? Anthony. Anthony is fit. Uh, so I've received a few requests of people asking me how I got started on my fitness journey. And uh, kind of, you know, what got me to the point I'm at today. So I want to say, first off, I've always been fascinated and intrigued with building muscle, being strong, lifting heavy ass fucking weight. Don't know why, but I mean, ever since I can remember when I was a kid, it's something that I like doing. I like picking up heavy shit and all that. So it does all kind of make sense. Uh, but I played sports in high school. And so obviously uh, fitness was a part of my life there. I didn't really know much about it or really care or pay attention, especially when it came to weight training at the time. I just wanted to play sports, mainly because, you know, Sports were like the popular thing to do and whatnot. I didn't really know shit about anything. Uh, but so going in freshman year of high school, you know, uh, the original plan was to play football. That didn't happen. I ended up going to a few workouts over the summer doing that, which was cool and whatnot. Once again, didn't really give a fuck about it. Um, I didn't end up playing football that summer. I did end up wrestling. And I didn't, once again, care much about lifting weights. I didn't think it mattered that much. Uh, but so, my sophomore year of high school, I'm able to, you're able to take a weightlifting class, at least where I was at. So, I decided, okay, let's hop on this shit, let's do this, you know, put on a little bit of muscle. I got a little bit of size going about me. And it still never really, like, clicked or hit me that this is what I wanted to do with my life. And like, this is what I was good at. I just wanted to be strong enough for the sports I played and all this other shit. So, you know, fast forward through the high school years and everything, I fluctuated weight, you know, I put on some muscle, but I put on a lot of fat too. I've never really been lean. What I'm at right now is the leanest I've ever been in my life. And that was even when like I graduated boot camp with the Marines and all that shit. But so, uh, Graduate high school, I decide, you know, I want to join the Marines. I didn't really know what I was doing when I graduated. Uh, so it just seemed like the best option for me and it seemed like the cool option. So, you know, I don't regret my time in. I met some of the greatest people I've ever met in my life while I was in the Marine Corps. But fuck no, I would not go back to that shit. Hell the fuck nah. But that's really... I'm grateful for it because it got me to the point where I'm at today and it really kind of made me realize and helped me figure out what I wanted to do. Um, so, you know, first year in the Marines and everything, all my school and whatnot, nothing fucking fun, nothing too crazy. Still wasn't big into lifting, you know, but we had to stay fit as being a Marine and whatnot. Uh, you have to fit in your uniforms, be able to run fast, yada, yada, all the whole nine yards, all that bullshit. <clears throat> And I wouldn't say it really clicked with me until I got stationed over in Okinawa, Japan. Um, and even then, you know, they say when you go to Okinawa, one of three things is going to happen to you. You're either going to become an alcoholic, a Bible thumper, or a bodybuilder. Well, I was a Bible thumper in high school. Uh, I didn't really drink till I joined the Marines, you know. So I spent probably my first year, year or so. Sorry about that. I got a little thing right here. Probably spent my first year or so over in Okinawa, Japan, just being an alcoholic, you know, fucking partying. Because that's all we could do for real. There wasn't shit. You got drink. You drank the motherfuckers you lived with. So, probably spent the first year being an alcoholic. And then, my second year is when it all changed. I've always kind of had an issue dealing with my weight. And that wasn't so much my ability to do things. I could move very well. I was quick for my size, you know. I've been 200 plus pounds since high school. I don't foresee me ever getting below 200 pounds. Just because the way I'm built now, it's just, I don't think it's ever going to happen. But so, uh, you know, I dealt with my weight a lot when I was in the Marines and everything. Uniforms not fitting right. You know, I'd fluctuate a lot and everything. I'd have my good periods. I'd have my bad periods. But, you know, I had, this was the first time in my life I ever had money. I could go out and do whatever I want, eat whatever I want. So, kind of did that. And it wasn't really the best thing for me. But it is what it is. So, um, year two in Okinawa. And 
I owe a lot to this man for uh, teaching me what he did. We had a gunnery sergeant. That's an E7, you know. Got to be 12, 15 years in the fucking military to reach that. All that fun shit. We had a gunnery sergeant named uh, Gunny Holmes. And, I mean, dude was just fucking stacked. Six foot three, six foot four maybe. Motherfucking like 260 arms the size of my fucking noggin. And this motherfucker ain't small neither. So, uh, you know, him and I got to talking. And I always had a little bit of size on me. I was always strong naturally. And um, <clears throat> he just kind of, you know, we went to the gym a few times. I started eating, not properly, but I started eating more. And I started building up some muscle, putting on some size and everything. And I started to get a little bit more invested in this shit. Like, okay, you know, like I kind of like the way I feel, kind of like the way I look right now. So I just kind of, kind of ran with that shit. Um, I went, I spent probably the next year or so pretty hardcore into uh lifting when i was in okinawa um you know i had money i could throw at supplements all this other shit um and i just really started investing more into my fitness and now granted at this time i fully plan on being in the marine corps my entire life making it a career and then i came home one time and I had to fly back to this motherfucking island I lived on. And as I'm on the plane from San Francisco to Tokyo, I'm just sitting there. I'm like, I'm done with this shit. I can't do this no more. It's not just that. You know, that's a whole nother story for a whole nother day. But I was a grown ass man having to listen to other grown ass men, essentially fucking little brother me. Just because they'd been in longer, their rank was higher than me. Even if they, they, a lot of, you know, you don't always have great leaders. You deal with a lot of shit ones, but it makes you appreciate the good ones. Um, but so at that point, I already have orders. I'm getting stationed in Korea about four or five months after I get back to Okinawa from being home on leave. At this point, I'm fully ingrained in this fucking bodybuilding shit. I'm cooking fucking meals, meal prepping and everything. Gym at five, fucking protein shakes in the morning, yada, yada. The whole motherfucking nine yards. Um, Still fat, but I was building some muscle. And I realized at this point, it was easy for me to put on muscle. Like, I could build some suck fucking thighs pretty quickly. Uh... So, you know, fast forward, February 2014, and I decide, or I get stationed over in Korea, and I'm starting to figure out a little bit what I want to do with my life post-Marine Corps, because my time was coming within the next year. And so I, uh, you know, I ordered some, my personal training supplies from Ace and whatnot, and I started studying for that so I could do that for a job when I got out, um... My best friend at the time, uh, still probably my best friend to this day, uh, he was going to college and everything, and uh, the college he was going to actually offered an exercise science degree, which was right up my alley, what I want to do. I want to learn more about the human body. I want to fucking figure out what makes motherfuckers tick, how to fucking grow muscle, lose body fat, all this other shit. So, you know, I started going through this process here, and when I was in Korea, I mean... We didn't really have much shit to do there. There was 27 motherfuckers that lived on that base permanently. And, you know, while there were some cool people that I lived with, I didn't really fuck with none of them. So, and they had a nice ass gym, state of the art. Nobody was ever in that bitch. So, you know, that kind of just kind of took over my life and whatnot. I started uh, diving really deep into the little shit. Um, I did exper I experimented with a pro hormone for about two months when I was in Korea. But then, like, motherfuckers would tell me I couldn't drink on it. And while I was still in the bodybuilding shit, I still did like to go out and drink a party because I couldn't smoke weed at the time. Uh, I had never smoked weed in my life, so I didn't even know if I would like the shit, for real. <clears throat> so I quit taking the pro-hormone. Um, I just focused mainly, you know, eating. I wasn't eating properly still, you know. I was for the most part, but I wasn't going to say no to some motherfucking pizza or some fried chicken. Um, so we fucking... I spent the next year kind of 
just putting on size and working out and building as much muscle as I can unintentionally. I was big as a motherfucking house. I was pushing 250. Uh, so, you know, it was uh, November 2014 is when I got out of the Marines and I was starting college in January 2015. So, you know, I got to come home and whatnot. And, you know, this is the first time I've ever been free. I don't got to listen to motherfuckers. Nothing. Like, I still got money coming in from the Marines and whatnot. I'm going to fucking do what the fuck I want. So, uh, you know, I'm eating like shit still. Working out and everything. And, you know, I kept talking about, like, I'm going to do a show. I'm going to do a physique show, bodybuilding show, whatever the fuck. I'm going to do this. But I still didn't, I couldn't get the eating down. It was a fucking mental thing going on with me that I just couldn't fucking get past and I mean I never really got past it until recently so you know fast forward a couple years I'm in college I'm doing terribly um I'm bad at school like my major classes I'm fine in like it was shit I was interested in gen eds I'm as dumb as a motherfucking rock like and I just didn't give a fuck you know I was smoking a lot of weed at the time and everything and fucking I was skipping class so you know it's my fault obviously I'm not gonna diminish that fact or whatever but so i was lifting pretty consistently you know about five six days a week and everything no cardio fuck that shit wasn't about it but um so you know that lasted about two and a half years or so and then fast forward to 2017 i started dating a girl and at this point, I wasn't, I didn't care about doing a show anymore. I was strictly lifting to look good because I wanted to get with girls, you know, typical college guy shit and whatnot. Um, but 2017, I started dating a girl and everything, and, you know, she was hot and everything. She was fit and all this stuff. We were kind of interested in the same thing, but at this point I had like completely fall, fallen off. Um, four or five months in the relationship, you know, I'm smoking weed heavy. I'm smoking like five, six blunts a day and everything. Uh, just playing fucking video games and hanging out with this girl and whatnot. And, you know, I was comfortable. I was like, okay, well, you know, this is life. And, you know, it was three months in and she was talking about getting married and shit. And, you know, six months, like, finally I told her, like, oh, I love you. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, this, this and that bullshit. You know, um, but so I fucking, I just stopped going to the gym maybe once a month. I always told myself, I'm going to get back in it. I'm going to get back in it. I'm going to fucking do this shit. I'm going to lose the weight. And this never fucking happened. I'd like have one good week and it all went to shit. So, you know, that was two years. I was with her and everything. You know, I wasn't, I was starting to look a lot like melted ice cream. I didn't really have a shape to me anymore. I had muscle on me and whatnot. Uh, still, but I just didn't look good, you know, but I was happy happy i was content with life at the time so fast forward to last january 2020 uh her and i break up you know we were about to move to kansas city together i was devastated i was like it would have been so easy for me you know to just not give a fuck about anything anymore uh just drink start drinking heavy again all this other stuff but you know i couldn't i didn't do that um so, you know, I dealt with that for a while and whatnot, and it just, it was really hard for me. Um, and I still wasn't really back in lifting. I'd started going a little bit more, but I still wasn't doing it full time. And I still wasn't consistent with it in my eating. Like I wasn't eating at the time at all. I was just heartbroken and everything. I didn't want to eat. I didn't want to do nothing, but I was trying to find things that I used to love to do. Cause I completely fucking forgot who I was during this two year period. I was with this girl and, uh, so it was really a point of me rediscovering what I love to do prior to her and finding that passion again. And honestly, I didn't fucking know if I was going to. But so fast forward March 2020, um, I moved from the town I was living in, St. Joseph, down to Kansas City. And, you know, I watched, I still watch my lifting people. And then, you know, I had a couple homies up in St. Joe that did, uh, lifting vlogs and whatnot like uh my boy zion broadus if you're watching this shout out to you my guy um and he had a video talking about a gym ogkc which is where i currently go and you know um a couple days i was working in kansas city at time before i moved a couple days before i moved i walked in there you know there was it was my style gym you know hardcore 
motherfuckers banging weights, motherfuckers throwing chalk on their motherfucking hands, like, real hardcore shit, which is what I wanted, and what I needed, honestly, if I, if I'd gone to any other gym outside of OGKC, I'd probably still be 270 plus, maybe pushing 300 pounds at the moment, um, so, you know, I started going here, and it was the only thing I had to do for real, I, made sure you know i was trying to get in that bitch before i went to work and everything every day and all this other stuff and you know it was working for me you know i started losing a little bit of weight i was getting some strength back i was getting a little bit of consistency back in my life my eating had improved but it still wasn't where it needed to be and uh what is it april 4th i believe the day was our it was right after everything was shutting down for corona in the united states and it was the day my gym closed and I knew at that point, I i mean, I was devastated. Like I finally, I had a good solid month and a half of consistency and everything in the gym. My eating was better. You know, I was still eating out and eating some bad food, but for the most part, I was eating some good whole nutrient dense food. Um, so April 4th happened, our gym closed. And I looked at myself in the mirror when I woke up that morning. And you know, I was, pushing 270 pounds right there and you know it's the worst i've ever looked in my life and i just kind of told myself all right it, it was originally supposed to be close for two weeks but i said if this if we let this beat us there's i'm not going to be able to come back i was going to hit 300 pounds during that quarantine and i i would never be the same i wouldn't be able to get back to where i was and so uh you know my boy dom uh thomas he had some home weights. Him and I scheduled some workouts we could do together. I had a couple things here. I had a buddy. Let me borrow some weights and everything. I had some resistance bands. So I was doing some home workouts. And, you know, it just it never was the same. And I didn't lose any weight during the time for real. But, excuse me, I was able to maintain where I was at. I lost probably like 15, maybe 20 pounds and everything. I put on some muscle. And during quarantine, I was just able to stay right where I was and be good. I didn't have to, I didn't have to worry. And then my gym opened back up and I believe it was May. And I just, I went balls to the wall. I went all in. Um, come August, I was looking the leanest I'd looked in years. And I said at this point, you know, this is it. I'm, I'm doing a show within the next year and that's when i started hitting the ground fucking running um you know i finally cleaned my eating up for the most part you know i would still have like cheat meals cheat days which i don't recommend cheat days have yourself a little nice little meal or whatever and then get your shit right back on track but so i finally uh started putting the shit together and everything and there's it's always been i've never been able to put every i've never been able to put the diet the workout and the recovery together all in the same phase that I knew if I could ever fucking do that and do it consistently is game over. I'm taking this shit over fucking blowing up, which is where I'm at right now. Um, and you know, it's been, it hasn't been an easy road. You know, there's mental challenges. It's fucking tough, but I'm seven weeks out from my first show right now and everything. Um, I'm loving life. I got uh, I got some people hitting me up for personal training. You know, it's things are. I'm in a great spot at the moment, and I'm only getting better. And I just, I feel like I wake up every morning, and I have something to prove. Not just to myself, which is the only fucking person you should be worried about. Don't worry about the outside sources. No, don't give a fuck about them. But, you know, I had something to prove, not just to myself, but to everybody. You know, I'm out here to make some motherfucking noise. And, you know, that's what I've been doing. So, yeah, I'm uh, I'm seven weeks out from my show now. You know, I'm, I'm losing close to a percent of body fat a week and everything. You know, I'm starting to do my posing classes. And, honestly, I've never felt better. I've never looked better, never felt better. Never been more confident in my life. And, you know, it all just kind of goes back to the groundwork of things. You know, things 
Life doesn't always happen the way you expect it to. But shit happens for a motherfucking reason. And, you know, life hasn't always been the greatest for me. But you can either get hit and stay the fuck down. Or you can get back up and fucking hit back. So, this is where I'm at now. That's my story. I can go in depth later if you guys want. You know what? If you guys want, if I get 50 likes on this video and 100 views, I can do like, I'll, I'll think, uh, I won't think about it. I'll do like an in-depth video of shit and everything, you know. Uh, it gets a little sad. It's a little tragic. But, you know, everybody's got a story. But <clears throat> I hope that... I can inspire people and make people want to get off their couch and go better themselves. And, you know, you don't have I'm hardcore about this shit, but this is what I want to do in my life. You don't have to be hardcore about this. If you just want to be an enthusiast and just fucking, you know, do it for fun, then do that. But if you ask me, every single person should have some type of fitness routine in their life, not just to look good, but to fucking just improve your quality of life. You get up and you move 30 minutes a day, go go for a walk, you're going to be better than the person who's not doing 30 minutes a day. You're going to be better than the person you were yesterday. So if I can inspire people to get out there and be a better version of themselves, then that's essentially, that's what I'm setting out to do right now. Obviously, I have my own goals, but I also just, you know... I want people to live the best quality life they possibly can. But that is my story, folks. If you've made it through this motherfucking video, I appreciate you. Go ahead, drop a like, drop a comment if you want. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. Subscribe to the motherfucking channel. There should be a little notification bell. It's somewhere around here. Hit that motherfucker so you know when the next video is being dropped. And that's all I got for y'all. You guys have a great fucking day and stay blessed.